the world of paper, according to abstract architect Aaron Squadroni. I think it's an interesting task to sort of take something that's a huge statistic and trying to find a visual way to represent that. We believe that creativity lives within all of us and it's really important that we all have access to that. The Grand Marais Art Colony captivates creative spirits in Cook County. A music video by Brian Barber and Americana artist Aurora Bear. These artists and more on this edition of The Playlist. Funding for The Playlist is provided by the citizens of Minnesota through the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund. Please welcome Aurora Bear and T. Bruce Bowers to the playlist. I've 
been doing some sanding, some cutting, and playing with uh, texture. I initially was thinking about how do you take a long sheet of paper and kind of get the maximum use out of it. At a small scale, it's strong enough that it, it holds up pretty well, it keeps its shape, whereas the, the bigger stuff needs more support. My name is Aaron Squadroni and I'm an artist in residence at Old Central School in Grand Rapids. I like to work in graphite pencil, 2D media. Usually my drawings, I, I go to a site and take a number of images and then I bring it back home and use a computer to uh, collage the images, play around with the textures. The refreshing thing about the uh, industrial buildings is that they really show you how they're built and that their logic is part of their aesthetic, is, is what you see. And so I'm trying to take that image and really kind of recreate it in a pencil sketch and then move beyond that by making my own interventions as I draw. Try to do things that involve design for architecture related things that cross over with art. They basically just call it art shanty projects. It's on White Bear Lake. The zoetrope itself was decided on as the direction to go um, as a way to sort of tell stories about northern Minnesota and the Iron Range. And so we had um, this larger zoetrope on the exterior and then we had a bunch of smaller ones on the inside. The idea was that you could tell this very kind of short story or get a glimpse of a story um, in a short animation. When I came to the uh, residency, I was very interested in coming up with some sort of installation piece uh, that could be presented in here. So now what I'm thinking about more is a grove of aspen trees. So um, the center space will have a, you know, 20, 30 of these um, trunks. It's the skin that's being splayed open or um, you know, an animal pelt or something, and then it kind of becomes paper at the bottom. Um, thinking about having something on the interior that relates more to um, the tree as the source of potential knowledge and dissemination of ideas. You can't always spend this much time exploring and deliberating and everything, but for me it's really enjoyable to sort of make something, step back, think about it, try something else. It's a nice way to, to understand more about both your own process and interests, but also about the subject matter you're dealing with. All that sort of stuff, I think, kind of comes together and makes a, a nice product in the end. We are in the studio with Amy Demmer, and she's the executive director of the Grand Marais Art Colony. Amy, thank you for coming over. Yeah, thank you for inviting me. I'm really honored to be here. I'm excited to be able to talk about the Grand Marais Art Colony, because you have um, had a huge impact in a, in a small town, but with a huge impact. Hmm, thank you. Yeah, it's, a, it's an incredible organization. You know, the Art Colony has been around um, since 1947. It's one of the reasons that Grand Marais is such an artistic enclave. So as the executive director, how do you guide that ship or how, you know, what, how do you see your role? Well, like any nonprofit, I think the executive director wears a lot of hats. Um, and, you know, in the past five years, we've grown from having one and a half employees to now we have three and a half, three full time and one part time positions. So um, we've really grown substantially. We've been able to do a lot more. It's really exciting. But, um, you know, do everything from changing the toilet paper in the bathroom to starting coffee in the morning to getting to hang out with the most incredible artists and um, to writing grants and working with the board. 
the Grand Marais Art Colony um, has an impact in the community, and what do you see as the, the most important thing they do, or how do you see what's the effects of what you're doing in, in ripples in the community? I feel like the Art Colony is a really unique organization. We have kind of a three-prong mission. To provide services to artists is the first. The second is promoting art education and then nurturing art in the community. And how do you balance? You know, is right. it for the professional right. artist? Is it for the amateurs like the rest of us who just want to try it <laughs> out? You know, and I think there's something for everybody. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you're a self-proclaimed artist. We believe that creativity lives within all of us, and it's really important that we all have access to that. So that's why you know it's important to have something for all levels. Um, you know, we have a ton of beginner classes, but we also have a really strong mentorship program for professional artists. All of those things are really um, so important to society and to our community. Oh, you have a community, I think, what, 5,000 people live in Cook County? Mm -hmm. How many people do you interact with in a year? Or, you know, what are, it's yeah. crazy, isn't it? Yeah, we, um, you, we see about 17,000 people, and, you know, a lot of that is because of our events are so big and touch so many people, but we also have tons of students on campus. We have tons of artists that use our studios to make their own work independently. Um, all the kids that come by, the, so, yeah, it's a about 17,000 people a year at this point and growing. I mean, every year that number is, has grown exponentially. And how do you see those events? You know, we were fortunate enough to, to step into the plein air event yeah. and, and just were amazed at the, the level, frankly, of, of professional work being mm -hmm. produced and how much of a hullabaloo that makes <laughs> in the county. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Um, is it a tourism thing? Do you well, look at it that way? It's, it is partially a tourism thing. Of course, like the lifeline of Cook County is tourism. Um, but it's also that thing about having the most number of artists per capita in the county. I mean, it is a celebration of who we are just as much as an invitation to others to join the party. So it's, it's both. How do you chart your future? Uh, what do you want to be, you know, five years from now? What do you want to be 10 years from now as the art colony? It's amazing when you've been a part, when your organization is as old as ours, that there's still so much work to be done to think about the future. It never really stops. So I think it's refining and making sure that what we do is strategically um, aligned with our mission and the best um, offerings that we can give. But I think there's also more room to do more of that artist service question and how we can continue to support the artists in our community amazing work comes out of your studios. Well, it's a lot of fun and the artists are really, really talented. So it's, it's just incredible to watch what people can do. Well, thank you for taking the time. Thanks I, for having me. I know me. the art colony is in good hands. <laughs> Thanks.
Here is the most recent song I've finished. You give Well, Aurora Bear, welcome to the playlist. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. It was really fun. So first, tell me a little bit about your music background. How long have you been singing? Mm, uh, I guess I sang in church a little bit when I was under 10 years old, and then high school choir, you know, and harmonies and stuff like that. And then I really got into playing live like this when I was about 19 or 20. Awesome. So the question here was, tell me about the songwriting. Wow. Yeah, um, the songs that I've done, except for one this time around, are all, have been written in the last two or three years. They're kind of recent. I've been trying to write ever since I got into music. That was kind of the goal in the beginning. So now I have a pile of work, which is good. 
And for you, what comes first? Is it a melody? Is it a, an issue that inspires you? How, what, how does that begin? I would say, um, yes, it's something, I mean, it's an issue. And then all at once, normally I write the music and the words together. Most of the songs that I've finished were written that way or, you know, mostly written at one time and then gone back and finished the lyrics. But generally you just have to be, I just have to be inspired about something enough to have something to say about it. So adding T. Bruce Bowers into this um, collaboration, tell me about what that brings and, and how you work together. Okay, T. Bruce is uh, my fiddle player, obviously, and he's also going to be producing my album that we're working on right now. Um, so he has some experience in the biz and uh, he's just supportive of my career and yeah, and he's also, you know, traveling with me and doing little gigs here and there. We do duo shows and it's a lot of fun, so. I've heard you sing solo. I've, I've seen you in different, you know, the good intentions backing you mm -hmm. up. Um, how does this feel at, at this stage? I like it. I like the two piece sound. and I think it'll be easier for us to tour this album with two people. And, you know, even though it has a band on it, it's much simpler with two. You know, it's so hard to schedule around. Not that, but I do would like a group as well, and I enjoyed having a band before, and I would like to be with working with other people as well. So, when is this album going to come out? Best case scenario, Best case what scenario. happened? Well, right now we're still putting the sound and the players together, so let's hope that it can be out. You know how it is; it takes time. All the all the stuff, I, you know, July. Let's hope I can get it out in midsummer. Go big or go home. Mm -hmm. Good luck. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.
train's gonna take me home. The 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 train's gonna take me home.